Hello, Arcade Gamers, and welcome back to Piggy D's Arcade. We're doing our 58th episode of Chill and Chat tonight. It has been a long four or five weeks now since I've done a live stream, but I've got some really special guests to join me tonight to make it a little bit easier to get back into the groove of doing these live streams each Sunday. Um, so let me introduce who we have. Um, we have PD7, Phil, uh, who in the house tonight. How's it going, Phil? Good. How Good are you? Good to see you. And Thanks then we, al- we also had one other guest. I had him on the thumbnail. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it last minute. He's just dealing with um, some sickness in the family, not feeling too well, and really wanted to be here but couldn't. Um, so we got someone to fill in a perfect guest, uh, someone that's never been on the show before, but someone that I watch every Wednesday. He's uh, leading the Arcades Anonymous live stream on Wednesday nights. Let's say hi to Todd. Nerd Lounge Master 84. How's it going, Todd? Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here this evening. Good to see you as well. Um, happy you made it in tonight to join us. Um, this is actually my first time having three guests on at one time. It's always been me and one other person, but I wanted to change it up tonight and get three people on. Um, let's say hi to everyone who's made it into the chat so far here. Uh, it looks like we got bad guy, Mike Worley. He was the first one to check in. He says, sorry, I can't be there tonight, guys. I ended up getting sick, but I wanted to stop and say hi before I pass out. Haha. Uh-huh. Hope you start feeling better, uh, Mike, and uh, definitely understand if you don't feel well, you know, take it easy, recover, and we'll see you when you get back. Uh, Jason saying, good evening, everyone. Happy Easter. Good to see you, Jason. Atrian Fanatic, he's in the chat. He says, sorry to hear that bad guy, Mike Worley, my friend. I'm getting over being sick all weekend, too. So sorry to hear that, Atrium, but good to hear you're feeling better. And we're here to support Mike while he is out. Uh, Mike Cockert says, glad to see you back, Biggie D's Arcade. We missed you on Sunday. I just enjoyed your iArcade send-in stream on replay. That's awesome, Mike. Um, my audio was really messed up uh, during that stream. I didn't realize it till I finished. But the actual gameplay, what you're seeing, looks pretty good. So... Um, if you're interested in seeing what the IRK can do, definitely rewatch that, guys. Uh, Goofy Foot's here. He's saying, uh, this is where everyone is. Hello, all. Good to see you, Goofy Foot. Andy's Game Room is in the chat as well. He says, good evening, all. And uh, Papa Brad's Gaming. Hello, gamers. Welcome back, Biggie D. Good to see you, Papa Brad. Uh, we got Paul Menderman's in the house as well. He says, happy Easter, all. Marine 50. Saying, uh, no Galaga guy 88. I thought he did every stream. LOL. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of Galaga guy lately. Yeah. Um, sure Kevin Clausen saying happy international transgender day of visibility. Okay. Don't know what all that means or what that is, but good to see you, Kevin. <laughs> all right. And, uh, Brent Metz is here. He's saying happy Easter all. All right. And one last person here snuck in here at the end, Hollywood Polo. He's saying Biggie D's arcade. Just saw uh, Godzilla X Kong. Very fun. What new games have made it into the Biggie Cade this weekend? And on that Godzilla X Kong, I found that uh, you know the uh, the reviews by the critics was only like fifty percent, but then the audience score is like ninety five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm definitely going to get out and see that movie. What about you two? Absolute. Yeah, uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday is probably when I'm going to try to hit the theaters. Now, did you see Ghostbusters too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. See, I got to catch up. I haven't been in the movies for a while. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen the new one, but I just recently watched Afterlife. I hadn't seen that one nice. until about a couple weeks ago. Really good movie. So yeah. I'll probably get out and see Frozen. What is it? Frozen Empire? Frozen mm-hmm. Empire. I, yeah. I would recommend it. I know some people, critics are basting it up, but I mean... I enjoyed it. My 14-year-old daughter enjoyed it. So I think uh, it's it's worth the ticket. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to go see that one. And then the Godzilla X-Kong, i got to see that with 95% audience score. Oh, absolutely. Uh, oh. They say don't come in for the dialogue or the acting. It's all about the CGI <laughs> and the special effects. And if you go into the movie with wanting to see that, you're going to like it's, it. It's not about the plot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then as far as anything new in the Biggie Cade, um, last Sunday when I wasn't streaming, I was getting my I arcade set up with my send and gun. So I've been playing that a lot. I've uh, been playing my Wii U games on my ALU, uh, my light gun games on there. And then uh, other than that, yeah, ALU, I actually played my pinball um, a couple days ago as well. I really enjoyed 
uh, medieval madness. I had like a multi ball going and I had a really high score. It, and that's your attack from Mars, correct? You're, yeah. You still have your, okay. My arcade one up attack from Mars that I bought last year. And uh, surprisingly, it's still fun. I don't play it that often, but when I do, I have a good time with it. Is it on right now? It's not. No, I <laughs> keep it Neither is mine. Like, <laughs> there's a reason. I'm afraid to, to leave it running. Yeah, I think, I think you can see kind of in mind, <laughs> both of mine are set off too. So. It's yeah. a shame we can't just like turn the back glass on, on it. Oh, I know. Yeah. And I Maybe think there's a way you can. Way. Yeah. I think there's a mod you can do where you can just flip the black, back glass on because um, I've always wanted to do that. I like the look of it when yeah. it's on, but I don't want to overheat that PCB. I know. I know. Um, we got a super chat that just came in. Kevin Clausen, $2. He says, if you turn your brain off, King Kong is going to be enjoyable. <laughs> and that's what I've been hearing is just go in it for those special effects and you'll be happy with it. Um, so let's run a quick super chat video. I haven't done one of these in a while for that $2. I appreciate that, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Kevin, for uh, helping support the channel with the $2. I also saw Jason. He just gifted five memberships, um, which awesome. went to Cyan Spirits, Chris C., Zero Redux, Galaga Guy 88 So that's awesome, Jason, um, helping support the channel with those memberships. Looks like PD7, you got one hey, as well. I just got one. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> You're now a member. <laughs> Awesome. I'm planning on doing some more stuff for the members too. I want to set up like a video area on my website where it'll have like a password for members only. And you guys can go in and watch videos that are exclusive to the members. So that's something I have planned here coming up in the future. And uh, it looked like uh, we got one more super chat here from Kevin, $2. He says, can you send me the pit like 19 K Fox? <laughs> send me to the pit like 19k fox no i don't have any uh super chat videos like that i thought about maybe doing some but i didn't want to take you know his thunder and uh take that idea from him so i've been doing my own thing but i've got some cool ones here i'll run for you kevin thanks a lot Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it was kind of lagging a little bit for me. Did that video do that for you guys? A little and bit on my end, but I don't think it did it on your on the actual stream. So. Oh, okay. I saw it on my end. Um, but uh, let's get into our subjects tonight, guys. We've got a lot on tap to discuss tonight. And um, mainly we're going to be start talking Arcade 1-Up. That's the majority of what I've got planned. So let me get that pulled up on our subjects here. So the first one I want to bring up here is going to be the X-Men 97. So before we get into the actual cabinet, um, I want to ask you guys, have you guys been watching the TV show X-Men 97? Go ahead, Phil. I haven't seen it yet. I, I've been meaning to start it, but I just haven't had a chance. Okay. What about you, Todd? I have seen like social media clips like, you know, uh, TikTok and, and whatnot, you know, people taking snips from the show. I haven't started watching it, but from what I've seen, uh, I love what I see and uh, I can't wait to get into it. So how many shows is it like two or three already in it or is they have they posted everything yet? We're three episodes in right now. So I think every okay. Wednesday they drop an episode <clears throat> will be on four coming Wednesday. What, what are they that? targeting here? 13, 13 shows? I think it's 10, okay. I think, but I'm just guessing. I don't know. The only thing that really concerns me is, you know, I, I did get the news that the, the main creator or, or guy that was doing this, uh, didn't they let him go recently? Uh, I don't know if, if you yeah. were keeping up with that or not. I believe that was kind of dis the premiere. Yeah, it was kind of disappointing to hear that, but I, I don't know if that means that – that this is one and done or if they're going to hopefully continue it. Um, I don't know what the, what the goal was for it, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm excited to start watching it. 
It's a really good show, guys. I've watched the first two episodes. I haven't watched the third yet. I'll probably watch it tonight. But I'm really enjoying it. I used to uh, watch this show religiously as a kid. Mm -hmm. I never missed an episode. So it's really bringing me back to the nostalgia and that feeling I got when I was younger watching the show. But it's also new, too, like the animation that they use, what they're doing in the show. Um, some of the ideas they brought to the show are more modern, too. So it's you get a little bit of both. You get the nostalgia of the old show, but you get some new stuff that they put in there that I really like. Um, but I don't want to spoil for anybody, especially since you guys haven't watched it. I probably won't say much other than I'm really loving the show. Um, and the characters are great. The colors, the animation looks really good. And uh, one quick question for you guys. What's your favorite X-Men? Oh, that's a tough one. <sighs> Phil, you want to you take... I, I like Wolverine. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker for Wolverine. I don't know. I've always been fond of Gambit. You know, he's, he's always, like, had a, a potential for, uh, you know, turning certain things into weapons. And then when, you know, he's fighting or whatnot... You know, sometimes in the comics he would just come up with random things to, you know, uh, use his powers on. So, I, I, I'm a, I'm a fan of Gambit. I really, not that I don't like Wolverine, but I just like Gambit as well. So, yeah, I'm a fan of like all of them. I used to draw these characters as a kid. Like I've always been into drawing comic book characters, um, but my favorite's always been Wolverine. Um, yeah. It's like my go-to to draw, and and I enjoy that character the most. Um, but I really like all the X-Men. Um, Gambit's up there. Rogue is up there. Cyclops. Um, you know, it's hard to pick because they're, they're all really cool characters. Um, they brought in a new character as well this season called Morph. And I think he was a comic book character. Well, but he, he, was in the, he was in the first episode of X-Men animated series where they thought that he was killed off. They, le- they left him. Mm-hmm. Comes back with Mr. Sinister. But... So they just changed his face. Is he the guy with the all all white face? Yeah, he's yeah. got no nose, and okay. but he can change into whatever he wants. And in the show, you'll see he changes into all these really cool comic book characters that you remember, um, and it's awesome seeing that character because he he'll, he can become anything, you know. And mm-hmm. uh, it adds a lot to the show. I'm happy they included that character, um, but a lot of fun. Uh, let's get into though the cabinet itself. So. This is on pre-order right now. Um, it should have probably released on March 20th when the show started, but unfortunately it's not. I think it's April 25th is the actual day it'll become available. Do you know, Phil, the exact day? I think it's 26th, but I'm afraid of the price is going to go to $5.99 if, we don't, if you decide not to pre-order mm-hmm. before the 26th. Like, I can see them jacking it 100 bucks. Yeah, it's I like, can definitely it's, see that. That's where they get you on this. Uh... See, MVC uh, 2, the first one was five ninety nine, but most of the deluxes are in that four ninety nine range, aren't they? They are, but the fact that MVC 2 is five ninety nine, this is the, actually you know, the same cabinet, just different skin, and now, I mean, I don't want to jump the gun, but there's other cabinets coming out that rumored five ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thought, Phil, and something we need to be aware of is they could definitely raise the price. Um, you know, this is one that I'm I'm interested in because I love X Men. I'm really loving the show, and I never owned Marvel vs. Capcom two. But yeah. one thing that's kind of holding me back is the online. I hear the online for MVC two is terrible. It's like not even playable for like fighting competitions and things well, like that. Well, I think you'd have to hardwire then. If that's if that's what people are complaining about, I think that you're just gonna have to plug directly in. You know, yeah. and that's what they recommend. I mean, if you're a serious fighter, you know me. I'm just, I'm just happy to get online with it. But yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna want to plug those in. Yeah, it, that would help quite a bit. Um, and hopefully, too, they've got something in the plans to improve it. You know, with this mm-hmm. new cabinet coming out, we don't know what they're doing behind the scenes. They may be working on ways to improve the online as well. So the that one thing about nice. Capcom is there's always people in the lobby, which is, which is good. You don't see that with Mortal Kombat too. You see it with NBA Jam, but a lot of every Capcom cabinet, you can always expect to find people online. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what they're promoting too under the features. Like the very first feature you see in the email mm-hmm. blast that went out last week is online multiplayer. So they're heavily advertising that, um, which does lead me to believe possibly they're working on it and improving it. Um, and let's run through these features molded coin door. 
Um, dual speakers for dynamic sound, 17-inch BOE monitor, over five feet tall, and eight arcade games. Now, the coin door, I've heard a lot of people talking about it, and they want to see a lit-up coin door. That, that's the one disappointment, yeah. you know? I thought it was light, lit up when I originally saw it, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's it, not it going to be, be lit. Standard now. It, it, I mean, we've gotten to the point where the, a lot of this stuff should be standard. I know. You know mm-hmm. Move forward. Unless you want, is it is it the uh, the limited edition, the vault? Like, are those the only way we're going to get light up coin doors? Is that what they're doing here? So, I mean, it just needs to be. You know, we talk about we talk about these cabinets a lot. They know that we talk about these. They watch our shows and whatnot. They should know that we talk about this, and it's something that we just expect with every iteration they come out with the little things that they put on there. Hey, you gave us a lighted coin door that should be on the next cabinet. I mean, it, it's, it's like a car. You expect it to be a standard equipment moving forward. Right. We expect and to have headlights just, on cars. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's get, let's just, get a, some lights on these coin doors. You're, you're already making these coin doors you know, you're mass producing them. I'm sure that you, you can pay the extra couple of cents and we're paying for it in the long haul. So, you're right. Yeah, and that's uh, one thing I've been hearing is that coin door and not getting it lit. And that's a good thought that Phil has is like, what if they're just holding that back for only the vault editions? I didn't think of that. You know, the possibility of that only coming on a vault. Has that been that way so far? I haven't thought of that. Except for Star Wars. Okay. For the 2023 Star Wars, everything else with the light up coin doors, I'm pretty sure it's all the vault collection. Okay. Yeah, I that's mean, a good theory. Besides KI Pro. Which was a thousand dollars. And okay, <laughs> and Pac-Man XL. But everything else in the uh, deluxe line. Right, right. I mean, it's in the name Deluxe. Why can't we have the deluxe features? You know I agree. You, you took away the riser, you took away some of the things that, that we said we didn't want. Give us those things that we do want. And you're charging us the four ninety nine, the five ninety nine. You know, you can put these little tiny things on there for us. Yeah, the good thing is it is an easy mod. I haven't actually done one myself, but I know it is simple. You yeah. just drill in a couple holes in the panel there and um, running some wires, and that's about it, isn't it? Right. Yeah, yeah I mean, it is a simple mod. It, it. It, yeah, it's, it's the principle. We want. We just want it. We want it. You know, want it out of the box. Play, we want it we ready want. to go. You know, right. we don't want to do a lot of mods when we when we've already spent five ninety nine on this thing. Yeah, I agree. So we'll uh, we'll see if they change that. I mean, they could make a last minute change. I doubt it, though. They're not advertising yeah. it, so I wouldn't expect it. But overall, I think it's a good looking cabinet. I, I do um, too. The, you know, I, I I wish the marquee. Maybe the only thing that I don't like about it is the marquee right off the bat. But the side panels look good. I like the way they did the front with uh, with just Wolverine there on the bottom. Um, I don't know what. Do you guys think they could have done more with the marquee? I, I, I gonna, think, go ahead. Go ahead, Peggy. I was going to say, yeah, and I'm glad you pointed that out, Todd, because I was saying, you know, how well it looks. Um, we're missing the lit up coin door, but also the marquee is bad. It's just a logo. Um, wasn't like they went out of their way to make it look good. They just kind of slapped a logo on there and was done with it. We and I think they kind of expect us something, you know, characters or something. Just to add a little color or flair. Yeah, I, that I can see. It. Yeah, even the color would have helped. I don't mind the, the the marquee as much as like the front of the control deck. Like there's just too much going on there. You got Marvel, you got Capcom, you got Arcade went up underneath it. I'm going to compare this to the Kith cabinet. That marquee looks worse than this. So I'm giving them a pass on the marquee just because of that. Okay. Especially at the price. Fair. I mean, that was what was that? Eight ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I yeah, mean, for that... what it is, it's you know, if you're into the X Men animated series, it's a perfect cap. Yeah, I was uh, thinking too, you know, Arcade went up. I think that they kind of expect us to replace our marquees. I know I've been replacing mine with the Zabo marquee, and it's really popular for people to do that. So is it now to the point where they're expecting us to replace it? So they're like, we're not going to put much time or effort into it. If it washes out, I think if I'm going to compare this to the Galaga, and the Galaga looks fine. This isn't like our killer instinct marquee, Beggy. Mm-hmm. I mean, this, this, should be, this should be fine. There shouldn't be anything coming through on that black. Yeah, I agree. And then, like recently, this uh, Street Fighter Two Deluxe had a fantastic looking marquee. Mm-hmm. Um, had full uh, color throughout the whole marquee. 
and it wasn't washed out. So they've actually improved that. Um, so I'm not quite sure the reasoning behind this uh, marquee and why they did so little with it. But maybe we can get that out of Travis or someone. Yeah, um, time will tell. Time will tell once we, people start getting this in their hands and we start seeing camera footage or actual still photos of it, then we'll know whether or not that marquee is worth it or not. Right. Yeah, we haven't seen it in person. I, have you guys seen one yet, like a real picture of one of these? No, no. I think there was one um, – out, on uh, Amazon, there's like a, a quick video, like if you wanted to pre-order on Amazon, like I think that's the only actual one I've seen. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, what I want to talk positive, like things that they've done really well with this cabinet. And the first thing that really sticks out to me is they went with the diamond plate game deck. That is something we've been harping on since the first Marvel versus Capcom 2 is many thought it should have had the diamond plate, not that concrete look. And um, they've they've listened. And they've included it on this one. And um, I've seen images in those videos um, that they put out. It looks like it's uh, got uh, like a, it doesn't look exact to these renders. It looks a little darker than what you're seeing in these renders. Do you guys know what I'm talking about on that? I haven't I haven't noticed yeah. a difference. OK, there when these start rolling out, you guys let me know if you notice a difference in that diamond plate color compared to these renders because it does I, in the video look a little darker to me what okay. i did notice was the posting you had where what was the top of the marquee did it say marvel studios or oh that was an issue as well yeah thanks for bringing that up phil so it does say marvel studios x-men 97 and i think originally disney was going to use that logo but right before the show released they changed it to marvel animation um, but Arcade yeah. went up, never got the memo, or they decided not to change it uh, because they were too far along in the process. Who knows what the reason is, but they didn't uh, make the change at, when Disney did. So you're, according to the websites, we're going to get Marvel Studios X-Men on these, which wouldn't be accurate. That's mm. not uh, what the show is showing. There's always something. There's always this like, <laughs> yeah, a little dilemma tiny here. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you guys think about uh, how this cabinet came to be like do you think we they went to disney do you think disney went to them like just speculating what do you, how do you think this happened that's I mean, it's a good question because it could be anything but what i what i do like about it i don't know what happened but what i do like is they're giving us another capcom cabinet so like the fear of not having a license or having this one and not having that yeah. it got capcom you know mm -hmm. and there's still a relationship with Disney, with Capcom going forward, mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting out of it. Yeah, that's a good point, Phil, is that, uh, you know, this is continuing that relationship with Capcom. And a lot of people w w worried or wondered if after John D left, would they get another Capcom license? They technically haven't gotten another license yet, but they are reutilizing a current license they already have. And they probably did have to go to Capcom to get um, some approval, I would imagine, right. on this. Uh, so at least they probably had some communication with Capcom. That would probably be Cyrus. Mm -hmm. And that, that was a question. Is Cyrus going to be able to keep this license? Is Capcom going to continue to work with Arcade One Up? And it looks like on some level they still are. And it looks like this cabinet has sold pretty good. I've heard over 800 have been on pre-order. Oh, good. Which, so, I yeah, mean, it's not promising. Bad. Yeah. And I, I would think, too, a lot of those 800 are probably new customers or ones that had never bought the first Marvel versus Capcom two, no. um, so that could yeah. help them a lot. You know, especially those new customers they bring in from this that are just huge X Men fans. Exactly, they happen yeah, to buy the marketing's great on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yep. Cyrus did a good job with this. I'll be interested to see how the rollout is. Now, I was mentioning that graphite um, or that uh, diamond plate, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's. I just noticed this image shows it too. Let's see here. Do you oh, see it in the background, how it's a little back, bit darker? I, you say that, yes. Yeah. So, so do you that, think we get that X like on the control deck? You see how the X is behind? You yeah, I see that. that? Mm. I don't think we get that X, but who knows? That's a good question. We may. Um, that would look really cool on there. But uh, I did see the videos, and the videos show the diamond plate being a little bit darker, kind of like what you're seeing in the background, not what you're seeing on the render. And I think it looks really good. Hmm. And um, April 25th is right around the corner, so we should start seeing these hopefully very soon here in the next two or three weeks. Yeah, I mean, it's April tomorrow. 
Yeah. Um, so this is kind of a subject I wanted to discuss with you guys is these uh, X-Men uh, action figures. Now, I'm not an action figure collector by any means. I, the only one I have is the one that <laughs> Phil gave me, <laughs> gave me from a giveaway, uh, which was Superman. I have it over there on my shelf. Um, but I Did wanted you take them out of the package? I didn't. No, I kept nice, it in the nice. package because <laughs> I man, wanted. Good man. <laughs> I want it to be a collectible, and um, uh, hopefully it'll make me some money someday. Who knows? But uh, that's uh, definitely your expertise, Phil. And I wanted. I came across these X Men '97 action figures, and I want to get your opinion on them. Have you seen these yet? I and I'm, I, I pulled it up myself. So the the regular X Men '97 I've seen at Target, but the Marvel Legends series. I've mm-hmm. seen Magneto, but a different render of Magneto, where he has an M on his chest, kind of a darker purple uniform. Mm-hmm. And, and what I always say is, you know, Target, Walmart, GameStop, they all carry different action figures. Like, mm-hmm. if you're on a hunt for these, you got to go to like 17 different, it's like grocery shopping. You got to go yep. to 17 different places to get the deals. And yeah, I mean, if you go to enough places, you can pick all these up. Okay, so you're seeing these at Target and Walmart, places like that? And GameStop, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. I'll have to go look at them. Who knows? Maybe if I end up liking this show a whole lot by the end of the season, maybe I'll start buying some of these. And these will be like my first collection of ag- action figures I've bought since I was a child. Um, but I thought I mean, these That's really the whole cool. thing is it takes us back to, yeah. you know, 1995 all over again. You know, I mean, it's just... It's it's great. It's great seeing all this stuff because we go to the stores and it's not just X Men. You see Masters of the Universe. We're seeing everything now. Yep. Yeah. I remember trading X Men figures in middle school. You know, actually trading them for other figures and whatnot. So uh, it definitely takes me back as well. Remembering all the good times. We got a super chat from Steps Gaming. She t- sent over two dollars. That's awesome. Thank you, Steps. And she says, "Pew on." Uh, Poo yawn. I, I tried to look that up while you guys were chatting just now. It looks. Do you guys know what pew poo I, yawn is? I, I don't. What do you, Todd? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what she's trying to tell us. It looked like it was like an NES game, and then it went to arcade. It was an arcade game, and uh, it looks like you can get it on Switch right now and PlayStation Four. <laughs> Um, but it must uh, be a game she likes. They're all, it's laugh, a... they're all laughing us in the chat. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed shooter arcade video game released in 1982 by Konami. Awesome. I didn't know about that one. To get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So let's uh, run here a super chat video. It looks like my camera just messed up on. And Phil's on the on the main. Uh, I don't know. I hope you didn't lose silence. Peggy. I don't like awkward silence. Are we all right? Where's where's our where's well, uh, like, until something where's... comes up? If 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 everybody can hear us, Brooklyn Menace is in the chat, and I remember Brooklyn saying that he has every X Men toy biz from the nineties. He's got the entire really? collection. No way. I mean that, I, and I saw that. I was <laughs> doing a, a walk and talk at a retro store at, at one of the malls, and they had a bunch of those X Men toy biz there and i thought of brooklyn right away i may have can you guys hear me we can hear yes. you yes okay i may have to jump out and jump back in because my camera is oh, uh, screwed up on me here guys oh it man. froze up on me i've been having little issues ever since um, oh wait here we go no let's see if i can fix that on the fly no doesn't look well maybe i can you guys can hear me though right yes yeah we can hear okay. you Let's see here. Give me a minute. Maybe I ought to fix this without having to jump out and jump back in. We'll see. So has Brooklyn done a video on that, Phil? Has I, I don't think so. And I, I was wondering if he was going to sell them because, you know, those got to be worth something, especially oh, in the yeah. package. Yeah. All right, there cool. you are. Yeah. All right, here he is. So that may happen again. My camera might freeze again. I've uh, got little issues going on ever since the flight. I had to... Take every break everything down that I had set up wow. for over a year for streaming, and then I had to put it all back together. And I haven't tested it. This is my first stream since the flood. So yeah, I wanted um, to ask you about that. Is are you in the same place 
that you uh, were originally. Okay. Yeah, same place. Um, had to move out of this place for, what was it, um, like a couple of weeks to an apartment wow. next door while they kind of did some work in this apartment to fix everything and do some repairs. And then I had to move everything back in. So, um, And I had family come in town, so I was busy with that. And uh, just now getting settled back in and getting my stuff working again. So hopefully that doesn't freeze again. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but let's uh, get back on track. And um, we were talking about we had this, we had a super uh, chat from Steps. Oh, we had that super chat from Steps. Let's run a super chat video. Sorry about that, Steps. Let me get a, a video out here for you. Appreciate the $2. That uh, means a lot, Steps, and it really helps out the channel. Um, so let's move on, guys. I wanted to move on to the Street Fighter 2. So I was trying to think of, you know, what was the most successful cabinet by Arcade 1UP in 2023? And the first one that came to mind for me was the Street Fighter 2 HS5 Deluxe, only because I'm seeing a lot of people that have already owned Street Fighter rebuying it again mm -hmm. because they wanted this Dynamo design. Uh, and then I'm also seeing a lot of modding of this cabinet because there's so many possibilities of different cabinets that you could create from this Dynamo design that I thought that this was like the 2023 most successful cabinet. Uh, what would you guys say was uh, the best for last year? You want to start on that one, Todd? I don't know. I, I have to agree with you, Biggie. I think Street Fighter Two, you know, it stepped out of the norms for them. You know, it it had that interesting deck design uh, that you know was more uh, reminiscent of the machine. Uh, so yeah, I think it was probably one of their uh, probably most popular. I would say. I don't know how many units they sold. You know how well. I know everybody that I talked to that bought them. You know, loves them. Um, so yeah, I think it's one of the most popular ones, whether it's the, the top of the, of the year, I, that's hard to say. I'm trying to think and remember all the ones that came out in 2023, uh, well, right off the top of my head. But the, the uh, thing is, is there was 11 deluxe that came out in 2023 yeah. and it's, it's hard to say which one did the best. Yeah. The thing about street fighter two is it came out at 399, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and then yeah. they drop it to two ninety nine. Everyone picks it up. Now it's back at four ninety nine. So you've seen this in Galaga. You, there have been deals on this. Yeah, I think I've seen it as low as like three fifty or three twenty or something like that at one point. Just I mean, like 19, extremely low pricing. Nineteen K Fox has bought it, at least two of them so far. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, yeah. you pick it up at that. That who's that? Spree Tail VIP or, Outlet or Spreewell? Yeah. Spreewell. Or spree tell or something like that. There's been some. I mean, that's where I got mine from. I bought mine direct on Amazon, and right when it came out at three ninety nine. I mean, that's a great price for a deluxe. Mm -hmm. And you get a good games list uh, with this one. I mean, you're getting a lot of beat 'em up games. You get to play Street Fighter online. Um, so if you want to just keep it stock, I think it's an excellent cabinet for yeah. that. Um, but then I've also been seeing, and what I think makes it more successful than some of the others is that uh, I've been seeing a lot of people modding it. And uh, they mod it. Uh, Street Fighter 3, I saw someone do. I saw um, K Fox, he's been doing Aliens versus Predator. Mm -hmm. um, but then I had saw uh, K Fox's stream a couple weeks ago, and he had mentioned, for you guys out there that have the Marvel Super Heroes PCB, it's got Punisher on it. They're not going to bring Punisher back. Wouldn't a great Dynamo design cabinet be Marvel Superheroes with that Marvel Superheroes PCB? What do you yeah. guys think of the look of this and um, doing like a a Dynamo HS5 with this Marvel Superheroes artwork? I like it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a beautiful looking cab. I know it looks kind of basic on the sides. Some people would argue that, but I mean, I think it's a beautiful looking cab and and. If memory serves me right, most of the Marvel superheroes that I've seen were always in this form factor anyway. So it would make sense for people that would want to mod this if this is what they saw in their uh, in their arcades at home, you know? Mm -hmm. 
And I in the way 19K Fox made it sound is he makes it sound like it would be like a simple, you know, re- mod where you could just throw in the Marvel Super Heroes PCB and it should work with the monitor and everything I that comes so, with, yeah. with this HS5. Um, so it's something that's interests me. Like I'm trying to think of like what's going to be my next arcade when I purchase. If I could get the Street Fighter 2 HS5 for say 300 or 350 i may pull the trigger just so i can mod it and get this artwork because i've never done that before i've never completely re, you know reskinned a cabinet before but i've been seeing a lot of people doing it lately and mm-hmm. uh, it's made me more interested in doing it myself it's and probably I, the easiest one to do because of the side art on the side mm-hmm. yeah, um, there's, only, there's only so much you got to do to this yeah, you can exactly. just slap that sticker on the side, yeah. cover up that Street Fighter logo, and you're good on the side panels. And then you just get a new bezel, you get a new game deck artwork, uh, and then you get your uh, marquee in your set. And if you already have the PCB, you're, you're ready to go. So we'll see. I may do it. Are you guys going to uh, possibly mod any HS5s in the future, or was that in your plans? Not for me. I, I mean, I, I still want to pick up the original uh, Street Fighter anyway. Um, it's just something that I haven't had a chance to do um, because I do want to play online with, with the friends and people in the community as well. So um, I'm kind of watching it, and you know, hopefully uh, a deal will come through and PD7 will let the whole world know and we'll uh, be able <laughs> oh, to... Oh, Beggy. Uh... Beggy, too. Beggy... <laughs> I think it usually finds out before anybody. So uh... yeah, I do search those arcade one-up deals in the morning, and if I find one, I'll post uh, just a community post with like an image showing you guys yeah, the price yeah. with a link to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely Phil, he's on top of the deals, probably more so than it, me. I, I don't want to. I don't want to like get anyone's hopes up. But here's my here's my theory on the Marvel superheroes. Okay, here's just because I'm on here's Amazon. I'm on Amazon right now. The countercade okay. is still available. Like you can buy the Marvel Super Heroes countercade for two ninety nine. You can get the head to head. If they, if they're done with Punisher, then why are these still available? Couldn't yeah. they just give us this? I'm not even asking for online at this point. Give us the same PCB. How many are on there, Danny? Three, three games on the on the three. Marvel Super yeah. Heroes. You get Marvel Super Heroes. You get X Men: Children of the Atom and Punisher. I mean, they want to make money. Disney wants to make money. This is the easiest thing they can do. Throw it in either the X Men '97 form factor or the HS5, and just give it to us for four ninety nine. Everybody's buying it. Mm-hmm. Or do a Punisher skin. You know, skin yeah. it the Punisher and just make that your I, marquee I, game. I understand that they're done with the Punisher and everything, but they're still selling this stuff. How did Target? They, you bought the Ms. Pac Man from Target. Like mm-hmm. you got that incredible deal. You picked yours up for, I want to say, $75. 79 yep. 79 I got Mar- Marvel Super Heroes there. I mean, it's right behind me. And how are the, why did these resurface again? Like, It's like they're still making these things. Go online right now. You're going to see the Ms. Pac-Man showing up at Best Buy and Wayfair. How many of these countercades did they make? Yeah, I think they're making more of them. You know, Target, I think at one point, uh, around Christmas time, around Black Friday, they reinvested in those countercades. And now I think Arcade Wimp's making them again. So you got like your Marvel superheroes. Um, it would be nice to see them bring the TMMT back. Um, exactly. They did do the NBA Jam. We You saw that one at Kohl's, I think, for a while there. And then, <laughs> too long. Uh, <laughs> too long. Did you, you ended up buying it, didn't you? Well, not that one because I wanted a filming location. Like, I wanted to keep coming back. But, no, I got mine from – I went online. Uh, so, how much did you pay when you ended up well, buying it? Well, I had I – had, I had an incentive. I paid one fourteen. Like it was one forty nine ninety nine, but I had some kind of a discount at Kohl's, some yeah. you know, uh, Kohl's cash or something. One fourteen. Yeah, I really like the Miss Pac Man counter Kate I got. Yeah, it's really a lot cool. Of fun. Uh, just mine's missing the lit up marquee. I was going to ask you, and I know yeah. Toxin. I think Toxin got the Miss Pac Man also. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it. Everything else is perfect, um, and it's nice because I have the black Miss Pac Man. So now I've got the blue and the black. Yeah. And uh, which is cool. It is. Um, but uh, yeah, if I can find a good deal on those countercades, I'm definitely going to start buying them. As I've run out of room, 
the countercades have become more interesting to me and uh, more in my, uh, you know, as far as my radar, what I want to buy are going to be more smaller arcades, I think, for a while, yeah. uh, along with the new wave toy stuff. Um, what about you guys? Are you still full size or nothing? Or do you, <laughs> do you guys uh, still? I think, I think we're a bit of everything, you know, I think I mean, wherever you get a deal, that that's where I'm at. I yeah. mean, I, I literally just bought the, the X-Men, uh, the X-Men, the old X-Men and, uh, it's sitting at the storage cave, which says something because I have a storage unit. Full wait, of wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> time out, time out. You finally bought X-Men? I finally bought X-Men. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. We've been talking about this forever. Phil. Wow, finally. But, but uh, I finally bought X-Men, and uh, it's sitting at the storage cave. I have a storage unit with units in it. Um, I'm running out of room, you know, and, and some people would say you need to just sell and do whatnot. But at the Do you same have those all hooked up in there where you can go play them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So oh, it's really? like a second so it's place. Assembled. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll uh, I I put up some more shelving and did I got to do another video? But that's oh that's man, another... this is great. Uh, so yeah, I've I've got. Do some, you have uh, life? Do you have online in there? Can we can we get a? I gotta. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to do like a mobile. Uh, you could use your phone as a hotspot. Hot yeah, <laughs> yeah hotspot setup. But we'll 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 do that. Uh, the guys want me to stream one night from there, so I'll probably do that. But uh, anyway. Um, but I, I'm in that same boat. I'm looking at small things because I just don't have room here. You well, know, Todd's got a collection of the, all, you have pretty much every party, Kate. Uh, I guess. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you have a lot of cover arcades too. You have them. Of those, six of those. Yeah. How many six total cards. arcades do you have, Todd? Oh Lord. Um, probably about 20 plus three quarters. Um, six parties probably <laughs> he's got a count like this is <laughs> yeah six or seven count i mean you know so yeah so you're probably at like what 40 total you think if you count all the arcade one-ups counter caves I would think party so. caves wow I mean, i've got you know i've got you know yeah i would think so because i've got the two player i got all the two players now yeah aside from tmt yeah if I count everything in, like I have, as far as like whether it be countercade or three four scale, um, I think I have around ten total, yeah. maybe Are, eleven. Do you count the new wave? Does that yes. go into the okay? Yeah, I count new wave. So no, uh, I got a new wave on that. So. Okay, <laughs> you got a bunch of those too. Yeah, some people have like twenty new wave toys units. So yeah. it's, well, like, that's, yeah. it's an arcade. It's it, it's still an arcade. Yeah, and like this uh, one that I have, this little Ghost and Goblins, I love it. It's a great little. It gives me a lot of the feeling I get with the three four scale at a fraction mm. of the size. So I definitely recommend them. Um, but on arcade one up, I wanted to talk about this because this was a big subject in the last couple of weeks, and I had kind of missed out on a lot of the videos that you guys made on these. Um, but this <clears throat> Golden Tea Deluxe, yeah. and um, uh, before I take this chat down too, I wanted to ask you guys real quick. Steps Gaming talks about how spaced out the arcades are. Do you guys put any space in between yours, or do you fit them together as tight as you can to get as many in there as you can? Tight, tight. tight. Yeah, no room, no room for uh, for art or anything like that. They have to be really tight together. Yeah, I put in a little bit of. I put in a fifth one in this room, and so I've got a little less space in between mine now. And I'm thinking, you know, I could probably fit one more if I push them all together. But then you lose that look at the side art. You can't only see the left well, and right I, side. I know, and that that's the thing. Like if you let's say you did the Marvel superheroes, like Todd, you're like you're not a big fan of the, the side art, but you're not going to see it. Like that that's, that's the thing. Exactly. Unless you have a four player next to it, because then you have a little bit of that space. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean that that's the whole thing. Like go to an arcade, like they're all right, right after each other. That's exactly. true. You go to the arcade, they're going to be right next to each other. Um, but let's get into this Golden Tea Deluxe. Um, we have, uh, you know, Golden Tea Original, and we have the Golden Tea XL, which had that horrible screen. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you replace your screen on yours, Phil? I never did. Okay, and you're okay with it? I'm just, I mean, it is, I'm taking it for what it is. It's, it's a huge arcade machine, bigger than anything else I have. And you just, if you're in front of it, it's fine. If, if I have it behind... Look at your iArcade. So it's going to be kind of like that behind you. 
Mm -hmm. a little worse. I, I mean, I'm not, the iArcade screens, it's a TN monitor, but the thing is, is they did that one right compared to the Golden T. So you don't really want it behind you in a live stream, but if you're playing it, you're fine. Okay. So you don't have to replace it if you get the XL. Unless um, you're... Maybe, you know. though, the XLs will go on, like, extreme savings when this deluxe comes well, out. Well, they're all maybe. sold out. Oh, are they? You couldn't even find one if you nope. wanted. Okay. It's interesting, uh, isn't it? Isn't it funny how it, all of a sudden they're gone at six ninety nine, yeah. Tron's gone at six ninety nine, and Turtles and Time's gone at six ninety nine. Like, where did these go that fast? They've been sitting around for years, and now they're all gone. So that's amazing. They're they're unavailable now. Yep. You would have to get the deluxe now if you wanted a brand new Golden Tee. Yep, it's 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 uh it's very weird. These sell, I think, very well outside of our home arcade community. Because if you go to a bar, mm -hmm. um, they're likely to have a golden tee. They may not have an arcade, but they'll have a golden tee most of the time if it's yeah. a sports bar. You put this in Costco, it's gone. Yeah. You know? I think these will sell quick. And I think Arcade One Up made the right decision. You know, they, they were going to try to decide what's going to be our next deluxe. Because this is like the year of them re-releasing mm -hmm. all their cabinets in the deluxe form factor. It is. Um, and, and that's why I think doing stuff like you said turtles and marvel superheroes it's it's hard to believe as it is mm -hmm. it's easy money for them they don't have to like put much work into that mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's the uh, same pcb you don't have to from what john d told me they don't have to go back to the license uh, holder or the company that owns the license when they uh, re-release the same pcb with the same games list so he told me right after he left the company that this year you're going to see a lot of re-releases using that same PCB with the same games list because they don't have to uh, right. pay those development costs to the uh, owner of these licenses. Now, I want to say something about this deluxe. I think it looks great. I don't know if I like the Arcade 1UP logo underneath the control deck. The, mm -hmm. the XL doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. But when I was looking at mine the other day, I think the XL is going to come out further. I think you're going to have more room on that control deck, not only, you know, width wise, mm -hmm. but you're going to have more room as you're pushing that ball off. Okay, there's there's going to the be some differences too. with with right there with the deluxe versus the XL. Yeah, that, you, that's a good point and uh, something that you brought up that people need to consider is, you know, it, the game deck's obviously going to be smaller because it's not an XL. You know, is that going to impact your ability to play Golden T? Um, I know you guys don't watch Rexer. I've never seen you guys in the chat. I do, but he was talking about this last night. I and saw that. He, that, that was his he owns the real gold, golden tee. He owns the real pedestal, right. like the brand new ones. And um, a lot of the fun is being able to hit that trackball and go way up on it. Well, mm -hmm. you're going to hit the screen every, every time you do that, mm -hmm. even with the XL. So he was saying, you know, be yes. wary of that. Be careful because uh, you may not enjoy the golden tee on this small game deck. No. And that's why the the monitor looks as bad as it does on the XLs because it's slanted so far back that mm -hmm. Shack Jam's actually more straight up and you know it's a little bit better on the eyes mm -hmm. because you need that room. Like yeah, you, if you really put your arm into it, you're gonna make contact with the screen. Yeah, and it is more slanted, like you said. I just noticed mm -hmm. that when you mentioned it that they did make it a little more slanted out, probably for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, because Golden T, you're you're used to hitting that uh, track ball and uh, not wanting to hit your hand against that screen. It's it's just interesting that Biggie that they give us an XL, and mm -hmm. now they give us a deluxe in that same one. It's instead of just doing the XL with the better monitor, putting light up coin doors on there, they go backwards and they give us a deluxe. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of people no. out there like the smaller size, you know, like I'm in an apartment and I'm limited on size. And like, if mm -hmm. I was to get an XL, it probably wouldn't go in this room. It'd probably go in my living room because well, of how much bigger it is. I, I agree. My, mine's in a back living room. I mean, my, my golden tea sits by itself for a mm -hmm. reason. Yeah. This is the one that I regret selling because I had the original three quarter when it came out <clears throat> and I felt like I didn't play it enough. Even though I played it, I just didn't play it enough. And it was one of the ones that I sold when I moved. And and now I'm regretting it. Well, and, it didn't uh, have the bowling on it. I mean, how do you feel about not having the bowling on yours? It 
that was one of the things that I was talking about during the last last meeting show that we were had. If this one's more enticing to me because it has the bowling, it has the shuffleboard, and I know those are just you know trivial games per se, but I like having that extra variety. And and I wish in my comments and and I know you touched on this biggie already, but uh, you know I wish they had added just a few more games to this. If they had given me two or three more games on this, I would have already bought this, and this would have already been been here um Mm -hmm. just a few more variety games another kind of bowling game another type of shuffle game or something that i could you know make it a a 12 game or a 12 game cabinet instead of an eight and i probably would have bought it uh just give me something more than just golf and those just those two games but this is enticing to me because it's got the bowling and it has the shuffle shot on it you know the Mm -hmm. shuffle shot is your favorite game isn't it phil Oh, the bowling. <laughs> oh, the bowling. Okay. I bought it. I'm, I'm crazy. I bought this for the bowling game. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's all I play on it. The, the yeah, problem I, uh... with the golf is it takes forever to play. Like, it's, guys, it's it's a half an hour. Like, you get bowling done in like three minutes. That is true. Like, I've never sat down and played Golden Tee, I think, all the way through. I'll play like three or four holes and then I'll switch to another game. Yeah. I, I play Golden Tee on my ALU with the big track ball that the ALU comes with. Um, I've heard though Brooklyn Menace told me I can get Golden Tee on my I Arcade and it plays even better on it, so I may play it on there some. Um, but uh, of these games, I can play all these games on the Coin Ops. Uh, I only play the Golden Tee 3D. Do you guys play any of the others? I remember playing the 99 and the 2K uh, when I. Had I mean, they're all the same. Like every Golden they're all the same, it's, it's... but. For some reason, the 99 and the 2K, I enjoyed playing over the 97 and the 98 for whatever reason. Um, whether it was just how better the graphics were or whatnot. Yeah, I've tried them all, and I just have the most fun. And I think the one that looks the best is the 3D. So I've been mm-hmm. sticking yeah. to that one. And like I said, I've never gotten through a whole course, so I've never had a reason to move to another one. I just play those uh, three. It's like a desert scene. There's like a forest one, and then there's um, – trying to remember the – third one but there's only three courses on 3d and i haven't played through all three of those yet so yeah um but yeah it's a great cabinet i think choice for arcade one up i think it's a safe approach because this year it's about you know low risk high reward and this definitely fits that exactly you know there's and i know there was a lot of speculation leading up to this you know what was going to be their next deluxe and i know i've been saying golden t deluxe I think the corner gate had said Golden Tee Deluxe. And so there's been a lot of talk about it out there. And um, I think they went with the right one. I mean, they Are could being... come back with. The... Sorry, Todd. No, go no. Ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go. No. They could come back with an XL next year. Like, this is what RK went up does. They give us a Deluxe now. Mm-hmm. They'll come back with a, with an XL next year. Yeah. Do you think this will go to a 399 at some point during the holiday season or something, Phil? Do you think that they'll take it well, that's that a good, low? That's a good question. It depends who gets it because, as of right now, Wayfair is the only one we can find this on, at the five ninety nine. So, and uh, it depends who Kev gets Gret, it, who has it. He just uh, put in a chat here, and uh, I know Kev Gret's got the real golden tea as well. He's I think yeah. even got the putt putt one as well. Um, but he's saying these are not the golden tea games you want to play. He's saying you want to play the four edition and up. Yeah. And I can understand that if you've had you know the high end golden mm-hmm. tea setups. You're never going to go back to this. No, just, you, you, you get it for bowling. Like, there's, yeah. there's no yeah. doubt about it. You get this for bowling. But if you've never owned those setups and you just play them at the bar or something, you can yeah. live with this at home, I think. So uh, the, the full-size real golden tees are just out of my price range. You know, they're yeah. just way too expensive. Where so would it's, you put it? Where would you put it anyway? It's I like, mean, can you compare, you know, the arcade one up golden tee to a real yeah. one? I just don't think you can. No. Um, so last subject here on Arcade One Up tonight. Yeah, I think this is our last subject for Arcade One Up is this track and field. Now, I'm a little behind on the news and everything that's been going around for Arcade One Up in the last few weeks, but I've been seeing other people's videos and thumbnails, and there's been a lot of track and field talk the last couple of weeks. Can you guys get me up to speed on why there's this has been coming back up again? Phil? Well, originally, now, and I had this wrong that – Addicted to Arcade 1UP originally broke this news. Mm -hmm. I saw a posting from GCA and uh, Gotham City Arcade and Steve V's Man Cave 
about about this leak. There's a stool. If you go on Walmart, mm-hmm. you Google track and field stool, it does show up. It's out of stock, but it shows ninety nine dollars. Why would they make a stool for an arcade cabinet they don't have? Has, is there any other stools they've done this? No. Without so, you know, so a this dedicated stool, cabinet. Uh, listing was like out a couple years ago though as well, right? Michael B did a it video was. 2022 on this. We, we if you go far enough back, I mean it's sitting on a riser like this is obviously not the finished product. Maybe back in 2022 it was. Mm-hmm. But if they did come out, obviously it would probably be a deluxe, but knowing arcade went up, who knows. Yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, one that would fit this year cuz we got the Summer Olympics coming up. So that idea of they release it in summer right around the summer Olympics. That's what I've been hearing. So, but it, it, so it's speculation, just like we, with the Olympics coming with a new Tron movie coming, does that mean we get a Tron cabinet? Like we, so. we can all <laughs> guess and speculate on this kind of, and that's the fun thing about this is yeah. it's fun to just kind of imagine what the possibilities could be. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of speculation on Tron and track and field, both for those reasons, um, you know, the movie coming out, the Olympics coming around, but also we've heard it, straight from uh, the mouth of Cyrus in one of their live streams where, you know, th- th- it interests him to release stuff around the movies or around, uh, you know, events like that because they can take advantage of that and uh, fuel their, the sell of their product. What gives that away? What what did they just announce, Peggy? Uh, X-Men 97. X-Men 97. Which was yeah. right around the show. How they think. Yeah. Yep. And there was an AVP uh, speculation going on. We had the leak of the cabinet of AVP. Supposedly there's a new aliens versus predator movie coming out soon. And I heard Cyrus say on live stream that AVP really interested him because he could use it uh, to release it around the time of that movie. And why did I said this the other day? Why did big Reese have to take that post down so soon after that leaked video originally hit? Think about yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, what, that would make what, sense that they wanted to hold that back because they, they could get in trouble. Uh, that could ruin the deal for them if they're in negotiations. Um, so I think that makes it more realistic or more likely to happen that they told them to take it down. What do you guys think? You think it's more likely that knowing that information? It is. And I, Probable, we, yeah. We were all in Cleveland together. The three of us, yep. Peggy, you and I were in line with Mike, getting a piece of pizza, Mm-hmm. 19k fox came right up and was so excited yeah. about alien versus predator i mean it's just whether it's true or not we all had this discussion together yeah i won't forget that that was like my <laughs> first time meeting uh justin console kids right? and 19k fox for the first time we're sitting waiting in line getting some food and they walk up to us and we start talking avp with k fox that was fun it was <laughs> i've never seen him that excited before and it's just and yeah, he's modded, he's done things, but what else are we going to do in between here? I mean, we're not just going to sit here and, I mean, we're still into this passion, like we're going to keep yeah. changing the game room. So we've been seeing a lot of interest in the re-releases and also modding, but talking about new cabinets, because there, there possibly could be some new cabinets by the end of the year. So track and field, AVP, um, and then what what other ones do you think are possibilities? I know Robotron 2084 was a, like a sure thing yeah. last year. Yeah. I I think that a Smash TV, is it will happen for sure with mm-hmm. Robotron 2084. Now, if they throw Total Carnage, they throw Total Carnage. But track and field, I mean, how many new releases will we get this year? How many deluxe will we get? If we got 11 last year... So far, if we're just counting Golden T and X Men '97, even though it's a reskin, it's two right now. Yep. And tomorrow is April. There's time oh, here. Oh yeah, for them. tomorrow is April. Tomorrow is April first. I remember watching a live stream five months ago, and Travis MCP I think was on that stream, and they had mentioned a Mortal Kombat Spectate mode right. in April. In April. So that could be coming as soon as tomorrow, possibly, or it could have been delayed. Hopefully we'll find out soon. But, you know, and I've been hearing connection issues with the Mortal Kombat 2 not being able to connect online. I think Michael B just did a stream where he wasn't able to play with anybody. So maybe that has something to do. Remember when you did the story about the Blitz online, Mm Beggy? Like it was going to happen any day. I think that's where we're at with uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it could be any day. I've actually got a video prepared. 
I pulled this from the stream five months ago. Um, let's run that real quick to kind of get everyone back in the up to speed on on the, what we're talking about. Round one, fight! Get over here! Choose your destiny. Flawless victory. All right, guys. So that is Mortal Kombat Spectate is coming. And last I heard, I heard that it was going to be in April. And my camera just froze again, guys. I was so wondering. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, frozen here for just a second. The, gonna, if that music doesn't get you going, I mean, I don't yeah. know what does. That was awesome. Yeah, no that doubt. was good. All right, let me get uh, my camera back. But you guys talk. You know, not only, not only that, Todd, but what if they did that for Blitz and NBA yeah. Jam? Like, that would be cool. If they could do it with Killer Instinct, if we can do this on a Capcom cabinet, they need to get this with all the midways. No doubt. I mean, like yet again, it should be something that <clears throat> if you can get it on one cab and deliver it on the rest of the cabs, it should be something standard from going forward. Uh, and I mean, I know it takes work. I know it takes a lot of, a lot of effort from them, but, uh, it's just something that they should bring to us and, and make it standard on all the cabs that, that have online that require it. Yeah. So this would be the, uh, MK one, which was that original, uh, with the riser. Um, and then they have the MK two deluxe, uh, which would use this and the joust as well. So there's like three cabinets that would utilize this new update. Yeah, that's right if it comes. Um, so we'll see if this actually ends up happening. I hope it does. Um, I haven't heard much about it in the last you know, few weeks or have you guys been hearing much about it? Just rumblings. Like people just yeah. always say like, where's spectate? Like, yeah. is it happening? But be mindful, you know, tomorrow is April fool's day. So oh. but Travis, <laughs> Travis did say, good call on that Todd. Travis did say, you know, wait for April, wait for April. Maybe he was talking about spectate. Yeah, you know, I think I think it is. And you guys have a trip coming up, right, with Travis? Is he still coming to Milwaukee? I'm not sure if he's coming, um, you know, just a couple of days. It's next weekend. I know that James hates everything in the chat is going thumper squid. I mean, it just might be, uh, it might be us, Cornercade going, not sure about Travis, but we'll see. Yeah, hopefully he makes it and we get some more information on this. I'd like to hear more about it. I'm not going to be able to make it to Milwaukee for that. Uh, what is it, the expo? Uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. Midwest Gaming Classic. Yeah. No, but, but since we're all on the on the panel here, what a uh, the pinball the pinball expo is that what it, is that what it's called? Are we all going to that? Uh, pinball expo, I do want to go to, and that's in October in Chicago. And like I for sure want to make that trip. And I will if, be there, and I'm hoping you guys will be there as well. Okay, I'll, cool. I'll, I'll be there. I, I'm yeah. actually considering going. I might just go to Cleveland for a day. Like the Cleveland Gaming Classic, mm -hmm. might go back for just one day. I'm not going to make a love weekend to go out there. of it. I would like to go. I had such a good time in Cleveland. It was, it was fun. Cleveland it was fast. It was uh, just you know being so. I got a lot of other conventions that are close by. Then I, I don't know if I can make Cleveland again. Well, I mean. I know geographically, yeah. we're we're all over. I mean, Todd's in North Carolina, Biggie's in Phoenix. I'm in Milwaukee. I mean, it's just we can't be everywhere. But I might make the drive. We'll see. Yeah, the reason I'm not going to Milwaukee is because the time of year. It's in April, right? And I can really only afford to do like a major trip like that maybe once or twice yeah. a year. 
And yeah. um, so I like the September October time frame. It works good for me. Yeah, galloping ghosts. I mean, there's a there's a ton of there's a ton of good stuff. I got to take you guys to Apt Electronics. You'll, you'll love it. Yeah, that's in Chicago <laughs> as well. The South that. Side. It's really close okay. to where that yeah the Pinball Expo is. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, get ready to start booking my flight and all that <laughs> because it looks like there's going to be enough people there that I can yeah. safely go and have a good time. Definitely. Um, I know yep. we're uh, running short on time because I know you guys only want to go about an hour, um, but I did have a couple of quick subjects I just wanted to touch on, if that's all right with you guys. No, no. Um, no. And that's going to be this pinball machine. So this is the At Games 4K pinball. We've been talking a lot about the Adams family. Um, but this week we've started seeing this Peanuts Snoopy table, actual images of it. What do you guys think of the way this table looks? I was going to get it. And I, I'm going to tell you something. Um, I don't know how far we're going to go here, but Evil Genius Gaming, Bill's Retro Gaming Show, did reviews on the At Games. I was going to get it and not get that SSF kit. Uh-oh. You need that kit. They sold me on it. That yeah. actually talked me out of buying it. And now I'm waiting because, it, guys, it's like 2000 bucks. Yeah. It, it's expensive. It's a lot to invest in a toy or something that, you know, you don't have to have. Um, so it's it's a big decision for me, especially. All right, look at this. I mean, that, what a it's great a looking pinball. It is. It's a beautiful looking looking pinball. I'm not a big Snoopy fan per se, uh, and I but I wouldn't be upset to have this in in my uh, arcade by any means. Uh, even uh, the buy stuff. Did you see the Star Wars that mm-hmm. buy stuff did like a, a short on? Like it looked uh, incredible. Yeah. 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 They're coming out with kits where you can reskin it pretty much whatever you want. Yeah. Um, but then. I think at games is doing like certain um, menus and stuff for the theme of the table. I know yeah. they were working on that. I don't know if that's going to end up happening, but if you have like a theme, I don't know if the buy stuff kits where you reskin it would work that great. Cause you're going to have the theme of Snoopy or Adam's family still. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't like the reskin. Only thing I do like is I know Papa Brad did that video where he put the covering the FX legends 4k like whatever art that was like Mm -hmm. i would do that but that's it yeah i think i've seen a lot of that where people are uh where the d-pad is they'll Mm -hmm. put in the control panel and then they'll put in an overlay on that control panel and keep the theme going the only reason you have that fx legends 4k logo there is because at games had to have something that was theirs on there to recognize it so that was pretty much the only place they could put it but a great idea is just to cover that. Yeah, buy, buy stuff. I mean, they're yeah, one of my favorite modders. Now, another thing that's been kind of a topic on um, on this is going to be um, the updates because there was some lag with the flippers. No. Um, there was also some plunger issues as well. Um, and one video that really stuck out to me this week was Evil Genius's video. He's like one of those trusted... Uh, sources for me for at games content because he has like a real full like real big virtual pinball Mm -hmm. table that he invested tons of money and time into so it's interesting to hear his perspective on the 4kp pinballs Um, i've got a short clip of his video i wanted to show you guys and credit to evil genius i've also put his tag in there so if you guys want to go give him a sub if you haven't already he's awesome uh channel to go check out for this type of content let's look at this and dived into anything else other than just playing the mess out of Am's family and part of the reason why i've been doing that is because it worked the flipper lag is now essentially totally gone maybe a little hair but miles better than it was before and the plunger is now fixed it is i hit skill shot after skill shot after skill shot it's a hundred thousand percent better anyway let's cut to some of the b-roll that i shot so you guys can kind of judge for yourself all right, guys, a couple of things. Right off the bat, the plunger is a million times better. You can actually control it a whole lot better. I've gotten a million skill shots already. A million. Well, I've got like 10 in a row or something like that. I'm doing pretty well on that. To me, the game uh, maybe looks a, t- a tad more sharp, and the reaction time on those slippers is definitely better. So maybe listen. That's, that's a lot better, noticeably better. You have noticeably more control on this. The pullback here. Yeah, see there, I got another skill shot. I mean, that's way, way easier now on that plunger. Ah, see if 
I can get another skill shot. And I did. So that is so much more easy. It's not even, it's night and day better for sure. The plunger is a million times better. I definitely think there's a lot less flipper lag. There might be a hair left, but it is really is night and day. It's like a different game. It's really amazing. So he says there, oh, sorry guys. Anything else? I'm just playing the. Didn't want to. I am sorry. <laughs> and part of the reason why I've been doing that is. There we go. All right. So uh, Kev Grant, he had said there's no lag, uh, no lag update. Evil Genius misspoke. I think he said there is a hair of lag still, but it's not as bad as it was. It's more playable. He's having fun with it now. You can definitely notice in that video that the uh, flipper lag has improved greatly um, and the plunger looks a lot more in sync now than it was. Um, so those are great. And that's the first like major update we saw um, was this, uh, I forgot what version, it's version 6.0.11. And I had made a community post about this as well um, because I knew that it was, it was gonna be an important update. Um, right. There were a lot of people uh, that were um, that were unhappy with the flipper lag and the plunger, and uh, it was nice to see that they have addressed that, and um, we're not seeing those issues anymore. Um, what do you guys think about this update? Do you think this was uh, needed, and are you happy with the results? Yeah, I, well, I'm glad that to see that they've done something, and I in you know I know in the chat they're saying odds and ends, but. Either way, it's an update. It got done. You know, they're working on it. It's a progress. They're actually, you know, accomplishing things. So, uh, but it, it takes time to fix these things. And, and at games has been very uh, vocal about, you know, telling us what they're doing, which I think is uh, a very, very nice and, and obviously better than other companies that are out there. So I think it's confidence that you're going to spend this money and they're, Exactly. They're always going to improve their product, and I think that's that's what you're going to get from At Games. Yeah. yeah, constant improvement. They've invested so much money and time into this. Um, just hearing about how long it took them to make this happen, now that it's out, they're going to devote everything they can to make sure this is successful. So um, this is good to see this this early on, to see them making these improvements this quick. Um, I'm happy to see. And then James hates everything. He's got one as well. He says it's not. It's really not noticeable on the lag anymore. He's he's hardly even noticing it. And then I know uh, Papa Brad's in the chat as well. He's got one. He's saying it's way better now. So um, definitely happy with that. It makes me more confident going in and spending fifteen hundred dollars now than I was before this update. Yeah. Right. Um, so just for the sake of time, we're gonna move on quick to our last subject, guys, and that's gonna be this Unico. Um, Unico Nova Blast. Um, are you guys at all interested in this new Unico Nova Blast? When it got announced, I was very interested in it. Obviously, trying to find space for it and where am I going to put it because I've always wanted something like this in the arcade. Um, I, I'm fortunate enough to be in an area where we have a, a local arcade that has tons of the uh, candy cabs. They have a, a candy cab arcade and uh, I love going there and spending time there. So this is definitely something that I want. Um, but I haven't initially pulled any triggers or said I'm going to do this yet. You know, I'm still just keeping my eyes on it and deciding what I want to do uh, once I have the room and once I can just say this is exactly what I want to do with it, you know. I yeah. think the price, too. Like, they kind of seeing where it goes. Will it ever drop? I mean, depending on the three tier pricing that they have mm -hmm. for it mm -hmm. and, and, and this, the right spot for it. I mean, it's huge. It does, you can't really cram it in like an arcade one up. So it's gotta be, you gotta yeah, be selective it is a with big it. Unit. That's something to point out is this is like an XL or even larger than an yeah. XL. It's, I mean, was that a 27 wide, inch, 26 inch screen? Yeah. yeah. 26 inch. It's their Unico. Um, what is it called? Phoenix, Phoenix monitor. And yeah. it looks fantastic, guys. It looks really good. Now, one thing that I was interested in and what led me 
to be interested in one of these was the fact that I could take like my PlayStation 3 or I could take my Xbox 360, you know, old systems that really don't get played anymore. And I could throw them into this and it would be plug and play and I could play my fighting games on it. And there's a huge collection of fighting games from the on these older systems. I don't have the arcade boards. I could put an arcade board in there. I don't have one of those, but I do have the game systems. That's and, good. Yeah, we haven't heard much about the compatibility with these older game systems until this week. And I'm going to run a real quick video. It's only about a minute and a half. It's going to show us some of the possibilities of this. So let's take a look at that. So uh, what we saw there, guys, was a PlayStation 3 and a Steam Deck. Uh, a couple of examples of uh, Steam Deck games playing on there. I think they look really good. They play really good. Um, there's also a video of an Xbox 360 on their Facebook. Um, so in what they're doing is they're using like a Brook adapter, and you're just plugging that in, and mm. it's compatible. Um, I've tried the Brook adapter on my at Games Legends Ultimate. I couldn't get the Wii U to connect at all. I was able to get my PlayStation 3 to connect with a special adapter they had, but it would disconnect after like 10, 15 seconds, and I could never get it to reconnect. I'd have to turn it turn it off, turn it back on, and then I could get the OTG to work for another 15 or 20 seconds, and that's how it went, and I ended up returning those Brooks adapters. But they, are, they seem to be compatible with their setup on this Nova Blast. So I think this is like up my alley and definitely something I want to get, um, just so I can utilize my older consoles and play some of those classic fighting games on a candy cab, which is how I think a lot of these fighting games were meant to be played. Um, so again, my, like my interest has gone up in the at games. It's going up in this Nova Blast as well with some of the things I've been seeing. Um, but any uh, interest you, from you guys as far as you know, doing that, putting different systems or boards in there? Well, it's it works for a guy like me that just wants to plug and play. So, yeah, it's an easy way to do it. It's a cost, you know. It's it's an expensive way to do it, but you're getting that arcade form factor, the arcade experience. This is yeah. one um, news um, that came out this week. This was posted on the 29th. So there's um, these little uh, uh, inputs here. They're called DB15 connectors, mm -hmm. and it was quite a bit of controversy behind that. Um, because uh, the um, people didn't like the look of that being uh, right on the front. So they took a poll and um, they got the results back and they posted that this week. It says the decision is made that the DB15 will be removed and the headphone jacks will be moved to the sides of the control panel. It was not an easy decision for them, but they had to make that decision after seeing the poll results that pushed them over the edge to be able to do that. Um, and then they did say it's a possibility in the future that they release a control panel with this DB15 or trackball, but currently it's it's not planned. 
I don't know much about these DB15 inputs or yeah. what's what the reasoning was for having those in the first place. I'm not an expert on arcade boards or any of that, but I'm I'm assuming this had something to do with uh, you know real arcade boards and having the accessibility there on the front. But they right. they've since removed that, so it won't look like that when it releases. It it'll just be uh, flush on the front. So what you're seeing in these images here where you see these little inputs down under the game deck, those will not be there. It's kind of an eyesore. I mean, I, I'm glad that it they is. moved it. Yeah, your eyes are just drawn to it. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. got a good image here of, uh, let's see, right here. Kind of show you what it would look like. Um, let's get that up here, DB15 connector. So, yeah, I'm happy that that's not going to be there right on the front. I didn't like that either. It's got that coin door on there, real coin door, real coin op. So this is interesting, and this is just right around the corner, guys. I mean, we're getting really close on the Unico Nova Blast. Um, kind of wrap up our stream tonight, guys. I just wanted, and I know, Phil, I kind of want to get your comment on some of these deals we've been seeing out of Wayfair. Um, last week, or maybe it was the week before, I saw Wayfair for a few hours do the Street Fighter Shinhu, Shinku Hadouken uh, for $311. And then within a couple hours, they had raised the price back up to like 411 But then I saw this week they brought it back down to 365 and I think it's holding 365 throughout today. Um, what do you think about some of these prices with Wayfair? I think the Wayfair prices have been great, but you got to get up at like 1 a.m. I did mention this in the walk and talk that every two weeks they run this deal. You get the 60-hour, 72-hour Wayfair deals. Ms. Pac-Man Deluxe is is like four nineteen, NBA Jam Deluxe drops, and the Street Fighter Two shink uh, along with Joust. Like, what what was Joust going for? Like, two oh, Joust was cheap. It was like uh, two hundred and forty or so, two hundred and thirty or something like that. It was so, incredibly cheap. And I was thinking to myself, I need to buy this. And then an hour later, it was gone. And then I was like, Yeah, I should have bought. But it. it will be back. That's there's like so many jousts out there. Like there's so many NFL blitz. Like the deal will be back. You know, it gives you it gives you time that if you want to go back and take advantage of Street Fighter Two Turbo, you know, you can mm -hmm. pick it up for around three hundred dollars. Like if I sold mine right now, I'd probably get two hundred dollars for it used. Mm -hmm. So you just factor that in. Like why buy used when you can get one for three hundred? Yeah, but, my sweet spot, you know, for these is like 300 or less. Yeah. And we're getting in that range now again where, you know, when I started my channel, we had deals galore. Arcade went up deals every day, it seemed like. Uh, lately, it hadn't been like that, but we're starting to see now with the newer deluxes coming out, some of these older cabinets are prime for some really good deals. And this Shinku Adukin I've been keeping my eye on because I think it's a really good looking cabinet. And uh, there's something to be said about the riser. Uh, it is a little more stable, I hear. But I it, don't it own is. a deluxe, so you guys can tell me from experience. It, it, it is a little bit more stable, but it's just preference. Do you want this look, or do you want the deluxe? Yeah. And that's that's where we're at now. You have you could be choosy about it. There's not as many cabinets out as there was. Best Buy only has two pages now, instead mm -hmm. of four pages online. Like these are slowly starting to sell out, yeah. and you know when the price drops to what you want. You know, it's it's your call. Like chaotic picked up gels for under three hundred bucks, I think. Oh, didn't he got he, that deal. Had, yeah, yeah, that's a great, incredible deal. Um, if you're getting these at less than three hundred dollars, and if you're playing Mortal Kombat online, you're playing Street Fighter online, and you want to be competitive, having the riser and having that stability or extra stability may be right for you if if you're trying to be ultra competitive, right? And if so, you don't like it, you can get a. a a cleaner look from GI Joel or it's one piece, you know, oh, I mean, yeah. we have that, we have all these options now. It's called the what inline riser or something like that, that he's yeah. making. And it makes it look like a deluxe. I mean, it's pretty cool. How much does he charge for those risers? Do you know? They're, they're $85, but they are, um, you know, obviously they come with proper trim mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, they give you about two extra inches than the standard 12 inch riser. So you're getting a little more height out of them as well. So, um, Oh, nice. Now the height's huge for me. Any additional height mm -hmm. I'm going to be a fan of. Um, so I don't have to buy the furniture risers. I could just use his. So yeah. you're right because it doesn't sit into that riser anymore. It sits on top. Mm -hmm. You're getting a two, you're getting two extra inches. Yep. Nice. So that's cool. 
Um, and then the last deal that I wanted to let you guys know about, and this is ending at 5 p.m. Pacific tomorrow, that'll be 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, is the Coke. So it's not the new Coke, the one I have back here. It's the Coke. Um, they don't, I guess they're not going to bring the new Coke back, but they did bring this one back. And uh, they're running a deal right now, 10% off. Coke is it. And uh, if you guys want to take advantage of a little money off on a product that's been real popular, they brought it back. Uh, you'll have a chance of getting it again. Um, did you guys buy any of these Coke machines when they came out? Yeah, I bought the uh, new Coke as well. I uh, okay. I have that as well. So. Did you open yours? No, actually I haven't. It is still boxed behind me. <laughs> I've been really struggling opening mine because I've already seen a lot of them on eBay and stuff for really high prices. And the ones that are in box unopened seem to be the ones going for the most right now so and see i and maybe you guys can help me understand this but you know new wave toys has done so well i don't understand why we can't get some re-releases from those guys uh you know like this coke machine obviously i i was very surprised when i saw the the announcement on this but let's go back and release some of those cabs that they've already released mm -hmm. uh, prior to that because i was late into the new wave toys and I want some of these cabs, and I'm not going to pay the $400, $500 that you're seeing on eBay for them. Or, yeah, I'm uh, right there with you. I'd like to see them re-release some because I've got in real late like you. Yeah. And uh, they have that coin-op function now. It would be nice to see them implement that into the re-releases. Um, yep. And then also the better screen. I know they struggled with the screen for a little while. Yeah. Use these new screens you're using like on the Ghosts and Goblins on some of those. Because I'd love to have like Food Fight. I would love to have Missile Command with, I mean, the right, with a the, good screen. The demand is there, so I don't understand why why uh, they're just not talking about that moving forward. But maybe they will. Maybe they'll come out and say that they are. But it seems like to me that they're just moving forward and not talking about re-releasing some of the older stuff. Right. Uh, Fireside Arcade, he said he picked up that Joust for 260 What so a deal. That was that a great deal. Price. That's great that is price. awesome. Yeah, I love seeing deals like that because uh, you can just make your arcade that much bigger um, w with a lot less money. So I uh, look like I froze again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this not my night. You got Mr. Um, Freeze in the house today. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, do some major testing before I get back on another stream. Uh, do like some test streams that are private because uh, this camera keeps freezing up on me. What kind of cameras do you guys use? Well, I, I got to be honest, like the, everyone's going to be like, holy cow, I use my old iPhone. I have it hooked right up to my uh, computer and my iPhone 10 is my is my camera. I have my, really? my regular okay. my phone so here. So you're but... using it as a webcam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And it I, looks good. I'm using Thanks. just standard uh, HD webcam as well. It's probably resolution is turned down on it. But uh, I've been looking at, at getting new cameras too. Uh, you know, getting something nicer than I already have as we continue to move on and do streams. So, well, that's yeah. the thing is we, I just bought some more lights for behind me. Like we're, we're doing these, you want to have like this whole new setup behind you. Like it's just like an arcade. It's like anything else. You're constantly mm -hmm. like improving as you go. So yeah, little by little, we're we're getting a little better and we're learning more about what we're doing. So I know we kind of all started YouTube around the same time. I think actually Todd, Nerd Lounge has been doing this quite a while, right? Probably years, a few years. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I think we lost you. Oh. There you are. I can hear you now. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't really been doing it that long. Maybe two years. Two years. When I got into it, I think you had been doing it about a year or so before me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we all kind of just hung out in Biggie's. I think Biggie was playing a, a, an Avenger like Ultimate Alliance game, and we were all just kind of hanging out, talking to each other. Bad guy Mike was in the chat, and yeah, we just started hanging out. I love to see it though, and like all our channels are doing well. You know, like if we had a Mike on here tonight, he's almost going to hit a thousand. So definitely go subscribe to yeah, him. He's, all, today, he's almost he's there. Like super close. He's been killing it, killing yeah. it. <laughs> and then definitely go to Nerd, Nerd Lounge Master Eighty Four. But more importantly, go to Arcades Anonymous because that's where they hang out the most is on that Every channel. Wednesday and, night. Yeah, I'm always there on Wednesday night watching that show. I love what you guys are doing with that. And thank I really you, like the you. community nights as well where you guys do the, you, you know, you bring on guests like we're doing tonight. I think it's yep. fun to get 
everyone involved and um and it just makes it more fun i think when you have more people involved um Uh oh froze one more time again (laughs) (laughs) just uh let's see if i can uh get my camera back up to say bye to everybody (laughs) because we're at the end of the night here guys uh went an hour and a half i had a really good time with you todd and phil i appreciate you guys joining me tonight thank Uh, you for the invite for sure yeah this has been a lot of fun thanks for bringing uh, us back on your on your return this has been awesome this has been great and is there anything you want the audience to know we've got 50 people watching is there anything you want the audience to know about your channels coming up anything they should tune into Arcades Anonymous is every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for plugging. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Nostalgia Power is going to oh. Thursdays. That's going to be awesome. Okay, good. Uh, and that's so. on the Bad Guy Mike Worley's channel. So definitely check out Nerd Lounge Master 84, Arcades Anonymous, and the Bad Guy Mike Worley. Uh, do we have a walk and talk in the morning, tomorrow morning? Yeah, we got one, uh, we got one coming morning. out in the morning. Oh, yeah. Right. We were out right. yesterday. Should be a good one, guys. So make sure to tune in to Walk and Talk Monday morning. Uh, I'm sure you got something good up your sleeve to show us no, this week. No, no jokes because it's April Fools, right? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Don't believe okay. anything you see tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a crazy a tomorrow. Big announcement. Double check. Okay, you know. Don't, yeah, when when don't you see crazy. Street Fighter Three getting released by Arcade One Up tomorrow, just know it is April Fools tomorrow. It right? is April Fools. <laughs> double check, triple check. Okay. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a good week. Everyone in the audience, you guys have a fantastic week, a good start to your uh, Monday morning, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.